Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. I'm Marisa Christian. Today I'll be talking with Ivy Times reporter Pema Levy about Georgia's water war. Um, Pema, why is there a battle to save Georgia's Flint River? Can you give us some backstory? Yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty long story, but the short version is that um, the city of Atlanta is a really rapidly growing city and metropolitan area. Uh, and it's also located at the headwaters of some pretty important rivers and just downstream of some important reservoirs. And so as the city grows, they need more and more water to sustain it. And that means there's less water downstream. And that's including on the Flint River in Georgia. And it, it also extends to uh, water that's needed in Alabama and Florida. So it's a, it's a big, uh, it's what's called tri-state water wars right now over this resource. And it's also affecting the folks within Georgia. What is the Atlanta lobby? The, the, Atlanta, the Atlanta lobby is, is, a, is a term that was coined by uh, uh, Gordon Rogers, who's, a, who's a, an advocate for the Flint River that I spoke to. And, and it's not a formal term. It's a term that he used um, sort of offhandedly uh, just to sort of refer to the whole collection of uh, interests that are that would rather see uh, Atlanta prosper um, and if necessary at the cost of communities downstream. So it's an amorphous term that would refer to uh, lawmakers, business interests, uh, a host a host of people that that's whose first priority is, is making sure that Atlanta has as much water as it needs. And that's and and of course you know Atlanta is an important city in the region. No one wants to see it. Uh, run out of water, so it's a it's a it's a complex issue. Why is the Flint so important to the south of Georgia, and what effect has the depleted water source had on them? So the Flint River is important. Pretty much, it starts just south of Atlanta and runs all the way down to the Florida border. Uh, and it's important along the way. It's important for industry. It's important for en for creating energy. It's important to the people that live on the river and and uh, you know, in the past have had this beautiful river outside their house. Um, but then in South Georgia, it's also critical to um, the agricultural industry down there. There's over 10,000 farms. It's a multi, multi-billion dollar business. And so there is a, a legitimate need in terms of, you know, agricultural production uh, and the, the economy of the whole region really depends on, on there being enough water to support that. Has this become a legal issue? Uh, it's the... Uh, there's two answers, yes and no. Uh, when it comes to um, the, the multi-state controversy, yes, that is a, a legal issue. Uh, although currently the states are trying to work out an agreement, but that has been in court in the past. Uh, locally within Georgia, it is not yet a legal issue. However, uh, a group that I spoke to called the Flint River Keeper uh, Group uh, is prepared to use legal action as a last resort. They don't want to go to court, uh, but they will take the state to court if they have to in order to protect the river. So what happens next? So next, uh, basically, uh, groups like the Flint River Keeper are pushing for action in the state legislature and also uh, in the state's regulatory agencies to try and protect the river through uh, updating current uh, drought protection laws, implementing other regulations. Uh, that will there's a bill being uh, debated right now, so in the next year we might see if that's successful. Obviously, there, you know, that can sort of build into future movement. But over the next few years, it'll probably become clear whether or not they need to go to court, or whether or not uh, the state uh, environmental agencies and the legislature will handle the problem. Well, that was very informative. Thank you for joining us, Pema. Thanks.